Yeah, hello and <clears throat> welcome to this video playing The Lobster. And it's a rapid game on DHS, quite unmistakably. Um, yeah, it looks okay. Yeah, the yeah Windows setup is okay. It's a little bit tricky out of the browser because somehow you can easily screw it up. Okay, so we got an Alekines. Probably, I don't know. Yep, C4. It is the most popular move. And oh, the four pawns. It's going to be not so easy. I've looked at this only briefly and um yeah. I can't say I'm an expert. Okay, so this is correct. Pooh. Yeah, e6 is right. Yeah, and now, now there's the big issue. Hmm, I think bishop e7 is right. I think just bishop e7. d5. Oh. I have totally forgotten the theory. Bishop g4, I think, is not that good. I think bishop e7 is correct. Yeah, this, is, this is an extremely extremely long line okay bishop e2 d5 is the is the aggressive one i mean this is also aggressive but d5 is the move that tries to wipe out black simply mm -hmm. okay and here Yeah, I, I think f6 is correct, but uh, I have no precise idea. This, and this. I mean, I think queen e1, queen e1, rook d1. Yeah, all the all this that that also makes perfect sense. Hmm. Queen to e7. Hey, d5 is hmm. d5 can be an issue maybe just knight e5 i think this is right but i have no exact recollection and rook d8 d5 i can also play rook d8 maybe yeah rook d8 looks very logical putting this opposite the white queen. So that e6 pawn is a little bit weak. Or oh, that's a wrong way to put it. It is potentially weak, let's say, but um, not easy to, to do uh, to do many concrete things with. Uh, hard to attack by white. So what's going on here? Hmm. So how do I play this? In general, I would want to um, increase the pressure on that center. Bishop g4 is a move that looks logical in that regard, trying to maybe capture and take on d4. White, what does white want to do? Potentially d5, but 
it's not really it, it's not looking really scary at the moment looks like I mean those pieces on the e-file are loose this looks like a very normal move actually yeah I'm going for it putting more pressure on d4 Sorry, <laughs> have to work. Sorry about that. <laughs> I got a text message and briefly had to answer. Okay, so what's the point? I was, I'm as usual a simple, really a simpleton. I want to take on a three, take on d4. So what is uh, White's idea against it? We'll see. One thing that is somehow, somehow unsettling me a little bit is that the queen and the rook yeah, are in that diagonal. So somehow bishop c5 would win the exchange. So I'm always kind of, I'm looking for these d5 and, and d5 kind of moves. Okay, that's interesting. He just uh, tries to, to take on f6. That's a good move. I did not really ask myself what is what is my opponent's move. If I would have done that, I would have spotted this idea. Hmm. Oh, very, very bad now. Very annoying for for black. Ah, uh, my position is really terrible now. I cannot prevent him to take f6. And that's my best piece. Ah, crap. Wow. Well, that position is, is really, really bad now. But it's not even slightly worse. It's just completely terrible. Just threatening to take and play bishop uh, g5. I probably have to go h6 in this position. Wow, what a disaster! Wow, so bishop, bishop g4 was a totally idiotic move. Mm. Remarkable. Yeah, I'm not pre-moving. I just uh, I should focus a little bit. Okay, but queen takes is probably ridiculous. Yeah, due to knight e5. So this one. Yeah, it's 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 super simple now. White has just the better structure and the bishop pair. So. Again, my, my position is almost unplayable. Yeah, knight on b6 is absolutely, it sucks completely now. D4 
5 is also very close close to working yeah i'm thinking how to improve the knight eh, on b6 uh, somewhere to f5 or so would be good but it takes it takes ages And I'm a bit concerned that d5 works at some point. Okay, I can take and go knight e5. Probably. Yeah, it totally sucks. Now, that was a really bad mistake. I'm sorry for repeating this, but I'm really upset uh, that, I, that I did not... I played this and I didn't really think about White's reply. Knight, knight e4 is just totally off for me. One thing I'm totally certain of <laughs> is that I think that when people play me, I think they give an extra one extra percent, and uh, I'm sometimes a little bit stronger than usual, let's say, because they simply know where they will be on on TV in a way, <laughs> as you see from the dialogue. Yeah, I think people actually are able to. Uh, yeah, mobilize their strength a little bit better. Okay, I'm trying knight d6 to f5 is the idea. I think that even h3, bishop, bishop h5 and g4, those kind of things are extremely uh, annoying. Okay, so the queen to c2. Hmm, what is that doing? It covers e2. That, that's the, the 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 main thing. But is that a big deal? Knight g5 might be an idea. But I can answer that with bishop f5. Everything, yeah, yeah. So that doesn't work. Knight d6, hmm. So what is the big problem there? I mean, it isn't all that bad, is it? Queen c2. Queen c2 was a bit lame, I thought. Maybe I'm overlooking something again, but here I feel knight f5 is some, some kind of threat. Hmm. It's not that's not so bad. Knight f5 is also a big tempo. Yeah, this knight c8 idea is really based on that old rule that you should try to improve your worst piece. Hmm. The knight on b6 really sucked. On f5, it makes perfect sense. Um, gaining that tempo and then maybe being able to take f3, take d4. Yes, I expected that move. So what now? I can take some material here. 
knight e5, d e5, rook takes, f5 is hanging. And d6 is hanging with the tempo. But knight f5 is always a big fork. So, so okay, let's think about it. Um, I take f1, rook takes, knight e5, d e5, knight f5. Yeah, that's, that's okay, that's really okay. Is there anything else? I can take now on e5, d e5, take f1, and it's basically the same position. It's basically the same position. And I should be okay. I really should be okay there. Yeah, he has to take with the rook. And now... Maybe I should have thought for a moment, but I think it should be okay here, really. Bishop g4, knight e3 is definitely fine. And I don't believe in bishop a7. And that, <laughs> that's not something... I feel is appropriate. Rather bishop f2 or something. He actually does take that. Okay. Yeah, but isn't this good for black? What 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 don't I understand here? I feel like I'm missing something. What do I the rook is attacked, everything is attacked. So the rook. First of all, I can always just take on g4. Queen takes, queen c5, check, king h1, queen takes e5. That's just a flat pawn for nothing. If I grab on f1, bishop e6, king f8, queen f5, king e8, queen g6 is a draw. So bishop e6, king, f, uh, king h8, Bishop f5, this is the thing, yeah? threatening mate. I can check on c5 and that's it, probably. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work in this long line. It takes, okay, it takes f1, takes e6, h8, bishop f5. Um, check on c5, king takes f1. This is the problem. I don't have a check. Rook d1, king e2 leads nowhere. Yeah, I mean, this is okay, but it's probably not easy to win. Take the pawn. So the key Alekhine defense concept <laughs> worked, yeah? winning the e5 pawn. Okay, that was not the e5 pawn originally, but uh, the d pawn. 
So there's the check thread and B7 is hanging. So probably want to cover this. Queen F7 is just a check. Yeah, so rook d2 maybe. Or oh, let's first, let's uh, get into a setup where everything is protected. King is reasonably safe there. I would love to play rook d2 next. Note the three second increment, so there probably won't be a time win. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, covering a bit. So how to do this? Rook e1 is probably on White's agenda. Yeah, it's definitely tough to do much. It's also got to check over here. Hmm. I don't see a really clear concept how to make headway here. It's probably just really drawish. Yeah, it's pretty drawish. Taking and rook f7 is probably okay. Okay for, for white. Hmm, really. It looks a bit passive. Hmm. I'm a bit surprised that he played that somewhat passive move. It might not be the end of the world, but still a bit, a bit surprised. Um, yeah, queen d1 probably. Um, Or I give it up. I mean, I can also give that pawn up and push e4. Hmm, no, come on. With this time, with the time ticking down, I prefer an ending. Okay, so this is attacked, mm, c5. <sighs> 
So, tja. Okay, Rook E6. Rook F6, uh, Rook E7. Hmm. It's just a draw, probably. It is just a draw. Because in the fourth I take the check and take, or in the second I check and take, or he goes back to h2, which is fairly passive. Okay, he goes for the for the passive move. And uh, now we will trade down to something where I probably have, a, have an extra pawn at the end. Mm, maybe. Uh, maybe not actually. <laughs> Rook e6. Yeah, it's just a draw. It's just a draw. I'm slightly more active here, yeah, but okay, it's still just a draw, of course. But uh, you can, you can try. Try to check and then king d5. Okay. It's still, it's still a draw, but why? I mean, this pawn is worth nothing, the a2 pawn. He has to watch out a little bit. Um, C4, no. Checking is wrong. I have an enormous space advantage, but it is like very likely wrong. But here I can get to G3, which is a really great spot for the rook. Putting pressure on the pawn. And if he goes A4, that pawn is, yeah, this pawn is going to be lost very likely because he cannot support it. He's in such a passive position that he cannot support the pawn. Like a5, I can check and probably win the pawn. So going here for king b4. Yeah, now I can play c3 actually. Let's do it. And it's not so easy. If he goes here, I can take and he cannot go onto the B file. So I hmm, have to go here for King D3. Um, yeah, King D3.
Ah, I didn't think about this move. Ah, damn it. I didn't think about this one. Ah, shoot. That's, that's a shame. Cannot take the check here. Rook F2 maybe. Yo, he offers me a draw. Hmm. Hey, it is probably a draw. King here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I hit, simply hit the wrong button. Hmm. Now, did I spoil a win there at the end? Hmm. Okay. Kind of curious there. I feel like I had a win at the end somewhere. Maybe not. Yeah, C3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. The computer analysis here is running. Um, yeah, and let's start. I mean, we had this Alakines for pawns and... Castles F6. This is correct. Yeah, I'm totally certain. Even here, I'm fairly positive that this is a theory, theoretical line. And now the engine uh, has E5. Yeah, I remember something like that in my files, but I couldn't quite piece it together. One thing I know, the move I played is rubbish. Yeah, this is, this is really bad. That's a really bad move. Knight e4 is a really good good reply. Yeah, and now I'm really in trouble. Yeah, h6. Kind of have to. Yeah, t taking is very natural. I think it would be surprising if this is bad. Then b3 is. Yeah. Must be okay. So back here and queen c2. Yeah, queen c2 is is not accurate. That that's what I what I thought. H3. Yeah, the idea is if I go here, there's even g4. Yeah, and the engine confirms that this is strong, as I already mentioned in the broad in the broadcast. <laughs> in the uh, yeah, this is this is wrong. So probably bishop f5 is indicated by the comp, but then d5. Yeah, d5. That position sucks. Yeah, h3 was excellent for white. After queen c2, I'm I'm back in the game. And after knight e5, I'm definitely okay. So this. So um, this takes takes takes. Yes, and now bishop f2. I expected, but he took. And that uh, that is wrong, yeah. I guess, yeah. I cannot take the the rook. We should look at this. Bishop here, king h8, bishop f5, and I cannot win. Yeah, if I check, he can take this, and there is nothing I can do here to avoid the draw. Yeah, king g8, white can at least draw. Maybe he can do more. So I had to take here and play this this a pawn up. I mean, White's drawing chances are still still okay. Yeah. So at the end we got the rook ending, and I'm kind of curious if there was a a winning chance.
Yeah, here I felt I'm I'm getting somewhere. Yeah, this this is a really annoying position to play, but probably probably I spoiled it somewhere. Yeah, this is then probably wrong. King d4 is indicated by the engine. Yeah, but can I win after King d4? Hmm hmm hmm. Hmm, tough. Whenever I go c3, there's king, king to b3. Yeah, probably nothing. The engine gives zero, and uh, the computer should play perfectly here. Yeah, all in all, I think a reasonably well played game. I'm really unhappy about my bishop g4 move. That was pretty, pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Then somehow I fought myself out of it. Yeah, roughly here uh, is probably the moment where I had the, the biggest advantage, but still not much. Still not much. Yeah, okay, guys. Thanks for watching.